All right, guys, this is uh, 21.73, or this is not, this is. And the problem says the gasoline engine in your car can be modeled as the auto cycle shown below. A fuel air mixture is sprayed into point one where the piston is the furthest distance from the spark plug. The mixture is compressed uh, during an adiabatic compression stroke. Uh, the spark plug then fires at point two, releasing the heat energy that was stored in the fuel. Uh, the fuel burns quickly enough to where the piston can't, uh, doesn't have time to move. So uh, this means that's an ice accord process. The hot, high pressure gas then pushes the piston outward during the power stroke. Finally, an exhaust valve opens to allow the gas temperature and pressure to drop back to the starting values. All right, and then we're given this diagram of the engine. Uh, so we have uh, going from one to two to three to four uh, in a clockwise manner. And then the problem just wants us to analyze this cycle and show that work done per cycle is equal to this. All right, so to do that, so again, we want to show that this equation is true uh, by analyzing the cycle. Uh, and then looking at this, uh, the diagram of the cycle, uh, so we know that we're going to start out at 1, and then uh, volume is going to decrease and pressure is going to increase on the way to 2. And then uh, from two to three is an ice quark process where no work is done. Uh, we know because it's a vertical line, so there's no area under the curve, so to speak. Uh, then we're going to go to three, for, three to four, uh, which is kind of the reverse of one to two. Uh, and then four to one, which is uh, the reverse of two to three, which is, again, another ice quark process, meaning no work is done. Uh, right, so uh, to start, uh, so we're going to break this down into the work done in each step, kind of. Uh, so we know that the work done from 1 to 2 is equal to the change in energy from 1 to 2 because uh, the process happened so quickly that there was no heat transfer. Uh, and then we know that the change in energy from 1 to 2 is just equal to uh, N uh, times uh, the, the, uh, the specific heat for the constant volume or at a constant volume. Uh, times the change in temperature from high to low. And then similarly, we can say the same thing about three to four. Again, we're only doing these two processes because uh, in the vertical line segments, there is no work done. Uh, we have the change in energy from three to four is equal to N, or measure of uh, amount of substance, uh, times uh, the specific heat for the constant volume times change in temperature, uh, in this case, from four to three. All right, uh, so then going from there, uh, we know that work out is going to be equal to both of these combined. Uh, again, because total work is just going to be all of these segments added up, and we know this and this don't have any work done because they're just vertical lines, or they're isochoric processes. All right, so total work is going to be equal to this, uh, but you'll notice I put a negative sign here, and that's because this is actually going to be the total work done on the system, uh, but since we're concerned with the like this being a heat engine, normally we're concerned with the output, uh, we're actually going to flip the sign uh, so we can see here that positive work out is equal to negative work from 3 to 4 minus uh, work from 1 to 2. All right, and uh, we can just substitute in for those two terms, for this W and this W, uh, with the things we found up here. Uh, so for the first one, we'll substitute in the NCV times T4 times, or minus T3. And then similarly for the other term, we get this. Uh, so this is going to be an expression for work out. Uh, and then to break down CV in this, uh, we're going to go back to some known values. So uh, we know, I believe this is gamma. Uh, sorry if that's incorrect, but this symbol uh, is equal to uh, the specific heat for a constant pressure over specific heat for a constant volume. Uh, and then we also know that CP is equal to CV plus R, uh, R being constant. And then uh, from there, we can rearrange and combine these two to get CV is equal to R uh, over gamma minus one. I'm just gonna skip over the algebra there. And then uh, from there, we can plug that in for CV. And then once you simplify, again, skipping algebra, you get the uh, equation listed in the problem. Uh, so we've now shown that that is true uh, with our own calculations and analysis. And yeah, as far as context goes, uh, this problem just shows uh, how uh, thermodynamic processes work uh, in the context of like an engine. Uh, as far as the tricky parts in the problem, uh, I didn't think the problem was too bad. It's mostly just uh, an issue of understanding how engines work conceptually as long as, as 
as well as just thermodynamic processes in general. Uh, other than that, this problem spe specifically is really just a matter of adding up work for each segment of the cycle together to get this. Thanks, guys.